Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to part two of today's artistic license. We're playing some more Final Fantasy X-2, doing our new Yevon run. We're still in chapter one. We have not really accomplished too much in the game yet. We have done kind of the intro beginning bit, and we have also done um, that Luca balloon mission, and we went and accepted Argent as our faction in the Calm Lands, all right? So next what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be heading to Kilika Island. So let's unpause and let's get to it. Lunar, how was church today? Did you have a good time? Were the kids good? <clears throat> All right, so let's go over to Kilika. Let's see what's going on over there. Can you guess where this is? It's Kilika Port. The Youth League helped rebuild it. Now it's a bustling town. At the time, everyone was grateful, but lately, well, there have been signs of trouble. It seems that tension is building between the Youth League and New Yevon. Okay, so Kilika is embroiled in, uh, in the conflict between Youth League and New Yevon. So if you jump across here, there's a chest. You can get some ether. It was nice, the kids were oddly calm. What? <laughs> Kids calm, what? It must be your calming energy. And here we get some mana tablet. All right, so now that we have accepted Argent and we've accepted the marriage quest, we can kind of start doing that with people. So if we come over here, this guy right here, <coughs> excuse me, we can do publicity with him and he likes the fifth one. Okay, and then we're going to come up these stairs. And there's some more chests up here. This is an, some antidotes. And then across here... We've got eye drops. And then, oh wait. Down over here, we've got a phoenix down. Okay, so the guy right here, this is another publicity one. Um, <coughs> he takes the fourth one. Let's talk to this lady as well. I found it in the woods. Not something you'd expect to see on the island, is it? It's called a squatter monkey. They're very shy, so they like to squat down and hide in their nests. That's where they get their name. All right, so we're gonna deal with that later. So we wanna talk to this fairy man next. Hello, hi. Yes, give me a ride. All right, then we're gonna cross over to the right side. And there's some more chests over here. <clears throat> Is it up? No, it's not up. It's just down this way. There we go. All right, so there's some holy waters. That's the one that's up the stairs. Come on. Star curtain. And then if we come around over here and go on this boat, There's a lunar curtain. All right, we also want to talk to this guy. Yeah, let's go take a look. So I think you have to look at this in almost every chapter. I think you don't do it in chapter four, but you do it in like one, two, three, and five or something like that. I wonder if it'll be done soon. Not yet. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> a me curtain. <laughs> That's right. We got a lunar curtain. Um, also this lady right here, she's another one. So for pu publicity, she does number two, but since she's a lady, you can also do matchmaking with her. So we do number three for that. All right, then we're going to go over the bridge and here's a light curtain. And then we can come over here and then I think it's this guy. 
Yes, this guy, and he takes the fifth one. Now we're looking for the green shirt guy. Yeah, this one. Oh, I didn't mean to go to the next area. It's so hard to talk to him. He's like right on the edge. He living on the edge. Okay, let's try that again. Talking to you. <laughs> Publicity, and then green shirt guy is the fourth one. Okay, and then that blue shirt guy that walked by a second ago, let's go catch up to him. This one. So he does number five. All right, so now that we've done that, we can go do what we actually come here to do, which is talk to our old friend Donna. Donna! My, my, my. Fine, have it your way. Donna! Go on, leave. Donna! Or Bartello. Donna! He just pushes Riku out the way. Alright, let's go check on her, see what's up. Well, look who we have here. Good to see you. What's with Bartello? Well, nothing out of the ordinary. I am with the Youth League, and he is with New Yevon. It makes living together rather difficult. Aww. But you've been together so long. To each his own. Exactly. Butt out. Wow. Poor Donna. <clears throat> There's the door. Use it. Wow. All right. But if you come up on the roof here, you can net yourself all of Donna and Bartello's life savings. 1,500 gil. Just steal her money for her being rude. Thanks, Donna. All right, and that is all we do here in Kilika. So let's go ahead and save, and we should be at 8.8. .8. So um, I showed this when we were filming the last episode, so I'm going to just show it on screen again for filming this episode. So let me go find the find the file. So there now, you, so you can see it on screen. So you just do the choose file, you choose your file, check it, and it should be. It says it should be at eight point eight. That is correct. That is what we should be at for right now. Really amazing tool. Really amazing tool for this game. All right, let's get on the airship. <clears throat> so next stop is going to be Luca. So we did already come here and do the mission, but there are a couple of other things you need to do here. So for example, we now have the um, PR and marriage mission, so we need to do those. So we can talk to this lady sitting on the bench, and she does the third for this one. And then for matchmaking, she does the second one. And then we're going to talk to this lady right here. And she does the fifth. And then for matchmaking, she does the third. And it's funny that she's sitting next to this dude during the matchmaking, but here's what she says. My boyfriend is always going on about Lady Yuna. She feels, poor thing, she feels inadequate. So you can totally hit her up for the marriage proposal. So if you come over here, you can jump across. And this is Lunar Curtains. Yes, you curtains, Lunar. All right, on this screen, there are two publicity people that you can do. There's a boy standing over here. Yeah, over here. And you can do publicity with him. And he does the fourth one. And then the guy in brown over here, you can do publicity with him as well. And he does the fifth one. 
And it doesn't matter if you picked Argent or New Yevon when you're doing these, the number that it is on the list doesn't change. So if it's the fifth one, I picked Argent, it's gonna be the fifth one when you do um, when you do the open air. I said New Yevon before, I meant open air. There's nothing to do on this screen, you just walk through it. And then there's two here. This guy in green is gonna pop out. This one right here in all green. Okay, and then we'll do publicity with him and he does number three. Yes. And then if we come up here, there's this lady and you can do publicity and matchmaking with her. She does the second for both. Yep, okay. And then we're gonna come to the other thing that you can do for percentage points. So you have to come back to Luca to get these points is this scene right here. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. The hall has been reserved as a meeting place for Sphere Break players. Are you familiar with Sphere Break? Yes, thank you or never heard of it. Um, never heard of it. Simply exit the chamber and proceed to the hall on the right side of the stairway. You'll find a sponsor of our game there. Please listen to his introduction. So he's telling you go watch the tutorial. We are actually not gonna go watch the tutorial. It is not necessary. Um, so what we are gonna do instead Look at that, who's that back there? Mr. Rin. Instead, we're gonna go talk to Rin. What's up, dude? Ah, the Lady Yuna. It's been too long. What you selling this time? Entertainment. Lady Yuna's calm has given the people of Spira time to relax and enjoy the finer things in life. What better time for me to introduce Sphere Break? That's right. It won't be long now before Luca will host the inaugural tournament. <clears throat> you are more than welcome to compete if you like. Should we? Yeah! Ask around if you would like to know the rules of the game. Edom Hawk Desa. All right, got an Albed primer. So that is how you get the additional percentage points in Luca. There's a couple other things here that we need to go around here for. If we come down this way, down this path, there's a treasure chest. Thunderspawn Garment Grid, heck yeah. And if we come to this screen up here, there's two more people that we need to do the publicity with. So there's a, this lady who's just gonna appear. So for publicity, it's number four for her. And then for matchmaking, it's number two. And then this guy up here dressed in white, for publicity for him, it's the first one. Okay, and that is it. That is all the stuff in Luca now. So you do have to come back here after the mission if you want to get all the percentage points available. Luna, are you okay? Luna, is everything okay? Did something happen? <laughs> Was that an accident? How do I turn it back off? How do I turn it back off? Oh, there it goes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I have no idea. Just hit a button. You hit shield mode. We can, you use that if you get like, um, if we get like hate rated or something, you can turn on shield mode and it's like supposed to help with keeping things easy to moderate. Okay. So we, did we save? I was so distracted. Okay. There we go. 
<laughs> it's okay, you can push them. You just have to turn them back off if you turn them on. It's okay, it's okay. All right, so let's come down here. And next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to Jose. Let's see what's going on at Jose Temple. After we defeated Sin, people began to distance themselves from the temples. For a long time, Jose Temple was neglected as well. But now... That can't be true, or you wouldn't have become a she's sphere hunter. Such a sheltered life. Maybe she's getting old. Who's getting old? That's Gipple, leader of the machine faction. Mm. He can be kind of annoying, but he's all right. Okay, let's do some interviews. Bring it. Bring it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he seems all right. All right, over here, we have a chest with a phoenix down. <clears throat> and we can't go inside the temple quite yet. What we have to do is wait in this line. Literally, the line will shorten and we will walk up in the game. So that's what we're gonna do. While we're waiting, I guess we can go do a couple of the publicity ones. So this lady right here, you can do publicity with her and she takes the third one here and then the fourth matchmaking. And then this lady right here, you can do the first one, and then for matchmaking, the fifth one. And then for this guy right here, you can do the second publicity. Okay, that helped the line a little bit. We're almost next. Waiting in line, waiting in line. Okay, now you can go in. Once that the guy in the brown finally goes in, you can go in. I want to dig. Okay, and that's it. That's all you have to do. This is kind of a funny little interaction back here. Will this guy ever shut up? Now he's threatening to not let me dig. I'm going to dig like there's no tomorrow and no one's going to stop me. See, let's find out why he's trying to stop him. All I'm asking is that he change his clothes. It's hot in the desert, but he's too stubborn to listen to a word I'm saying. Amateurs. Yeah, you can't wear winter clothes in the desert, my dude. It's not going to work. All right, so now we can go into the temple. three <clears> people. <throat> Or how have we killed the guardian? Kipper! Huh? Hello. You are uh, here for an interview? Uh huh. The Great High Summoner wants an interview? Former Summoner. Hmm. All right, follow me. <gasps> Ooh, what kind of chocolate? All right, so before we follow him outside, we're going to come over here because there's some treasure. You can get an echo screen right here.
piece of milk chocolate and a piece of caramel chocolate. Oh my god, caramel chocolate sounds so good. Never been this close to a celebrity before. That's nice. I could get used to this. Let's not. Well, if it isn't Sid's girl, how you been? Hey, I have a name. Huh, brother doing okay? Same as ever. Buddies around too. <laughs> Same as ever is right. Oh, y you! Hey, nice to meet you. Uh, huh? We're here for the interview. You tell him pain. Right. The interview. Welcome in, Jose. Hey, Jose, you're here for the first Jose you sure part. You want to dig? Because we're talking about the desert, ladies. Not exactly a picnic. Uh, we're sure. All right, you're hired. Welcome. Huh? You are hired. Don't know why a superstar like you would want to play in the sand. It's going to be fun. Well, do what you got to do. Anyways, I've done what I can. Dig to your heart's content. Um, thanks. Show this letter to a woman named Nadala. You'll find her in the Beaconel Desert. All right, got the letter of introduction. Happy digging. That's what you have to do here to get percentage points in this area. But of course, we're also going to do the um, the stuff for the matchmaking and the uh, publicity. I started a playthrough. We're about at the same place. Oh, awesome, Jose. Awesome. We're going to be playing this every Sunday from noon to four Eastern. And um, we're going to do a full new Yevon run where we do everything, but we pick new Yevon. So I know that means we're not going to quite get 100%, but we're going to do everything. All right. So for her publicity, we do the third... And then matchmaking, we do the fifth. All right, and then guy in green. So this one right here, you can do the fifth for him. This guy in orange, you can do the first for him. For the guy in yellow, you do the fourth. Okay. And then there's another one over here. So this lady, you can do the third for the publicity and for the matchmaking, you do the fifth. And then there's a potion. All right, so that's everything to do in Jose. Now he said to go take our letter to Nautila in Beaconel. So we are gonna go ahead and save and do just that. All right, let's check our percentage on our little tool. We should be at 10%, so I'm just gonna check and make sure. Yes, we're at 10%, fabulous. Boo! All right, so let's head over to Beaconel. Island. This is where the All Beds beloved home stood until two years ago. I always cry at that part. Most have moved on, but a handful of All Beds still live here today. They say countless machina lie buried under the desert sands. Leave the trailblazing to me! Um, I don't think that sand dune used to be there. Yeah, how could you navigate sand dunes? They move all the time. We're just gonna run after Riku and try our best. <clears throat> uh, wow. Killer Hound lived up to his name. Uh, let's do Phoenix down. I 
don't think they understand, right? For real. Okay, let's kill him. Kill the killer. There we go. He gone now. Goodbye. Case closed. Good crit, Yuna. Good crit. Riku, don't run off without me. You go too fast, girl. You go too fast. Get him. Get that chain up. Nice work indeed. Oh, why am I running that direction? Go that direction. I was pushing forward and she ran back for some reason. You know what's wrong with you. Yuna tired. She's done running. She's done running, Riku. Riku, you do know the way, right? Uh, Riku, are we in trouble? All beds to the rescue. This looks familiar from the beginning of ten. It is very dramatic. We're dying, Koneko. We're dying of heat stroke. Oh no. All right. So to get Nautilaw to appear, I think you have to like run up here. I feel like I always struggle to get her to pop up. Oh, apparently I have to watch this scene first. He says they had to move the camp to escape a sandstorm. We could have looked forever and never found it. Oh! What? Sounds like there's a big sandstorm coming in. Another one? Mm too big for the airship to handle. I guess we won't be leaving the way we came. Okay, so now you gotta run around over here. We'll try to get her to pop up.
There we go. I don't know exactly what sequence you have to go through to make that happen. It's always a struggle for me, but that there she is. What's up, Nadala? I'm busy, so make it fast, okay? I've got lots to excavate and no one to do it. Yuni, show her Gipple's letter. Oh, so you're the new guys. That's us. Nice to meet you. Hmm, I guess the High Summoner's hard up too. Well, don't be expecting any special treatment. Right. Let's get to it then. Here's where we are. And here is where you're headed. Not far away. Oh, but it's so far. It's definitely not Riku. We'll send you out there by hover. Go talk to the pilot about it. It's just right over there. Looked really close. Here's our co-pilot. Hey, sweet cakes, nice to meet ya. Thanks, Pickett. So this is basically what you have to do for your percentage point. You have to do a successful dig. So he's giving you a bunch of digging tips, but um, it doesn't really matter because here's our yellow X right here, which is really what you need. You gotta get the yellow X, that's a successful dig. Now, since we did that, we're gonna go ahead and get these white ones because they're really close before time runs out. It's kind of like, why not? Ambushed! Oh, did I accidentally just do- yeah, I did. Alright, goodbye, Killer Hound. Now you can't kill nobody. I need I need the Unikitty power. The catacorn. Alright, so then we're just gonna run back to the hover. Oh wait, we didn't get that X. <laughs> Let's get it. I thought it was an ambush X, but I forgot. It's not. Oh, but it is! Hang it. So you have to do one successful dig. So really, you can just grab the yellow one and then run right back. Like, you don't have to do any extra. Die already, my dude. Oh my god. Don't get a game over. Don't get a game over. Just kill it. I'm so close to killing it. I was being too risky. I was being too risky. It almost didn't pay off, but we're okay. We're okay, you guys. We didn't die. Thought we were gonna die in the desert. Thought we were gonna die in the desert. That was very close. It was too close, Josie. It was too close. Love the creature design. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Yes. Creature design in Final Fantasy X is amazing and they reuse the same models in X too. So like, they're really freaking amazing. Just what we needed. You're good. What'd you expect? Mm, don't let it go to your head. But you did do a good job. Here, your reward. Thanks, Nadala. Yes. It was the power of the catacorn. I 
All right, still have the night garment grid. All right, so let's do, actually, no, we healed up, so we're good. We can just leave. Come back anytime you like. We'll be here. Thanks, Nautila. I'll be back later. I wanna look at where our abilities are. What do we have them learning? I forgot. Okay, no, that's fine. That's also fine. And I think she's still learning. Yeah, trigger happy level three. All right, what we're gonna do next is head over to Bavel for a few more percentage points. Bavel remains at the heart of Spira, even today. It's also the I love place Bavel's color palette. I suppose that makes it my hometown, but I can't say that I have a lot of fond memories here. All right, so you can walk all the way down there, um, or you can take the little taxi. Whee! You still end up having to walk kind of a lot, but at least you can skip that one section with the water taxi. So pretty. It's like so pretty and colorful in Bavel. But Lady Yuna, please, this way. Okay, I follow in you. Oh, the High Summoner. I see you finally decided to join New Yevon. Well, I much honor, my lady. Lord Braska, may he rest in peace. We haven't chosen fall. yet. I will summon the Praetor immediately. I beg your leave. She isn't he. Mm, we should leave. Hey, what's the matter, Uni? Well, you see, there was this arrangement um with the son of the chairman of New Yevon. I turned the offer down, but I thought it'd be kind of awkward. Yuna? Hmm. You're probably right. Let's go. Huh? No, wait. Uh, wait. Uh, hey. Oh. Are you on a new game plus file? No, we are not. Fresh game. Uh. A pleasure, Lady Yuna. I am Barilai, Praetor of New Yevon. So, you're the chairman's son? Ah, as it happens, the chairman has recently resigned. As did his son, the Praetor. They were trying to take too much power. We had to ask them to leave. Now the younger members run the party. By mutual consensus, of course. I'm sorry to hear that. So you see, Lady Yuna, it is not I that was meant to marry the High Summoner. Oh, my. Not that we wouldn't appreciate your support. On the contrary, you'd be most welcome. I understand if your feelings toward Yevin are mixed. But I would hope that you could put that aside and join our cause. The world is changing, and there are many who are finding it difficult to keep up. New Yevin wishes to help those who feel lost in the winds of change. If you'll excuse me, there are matters which require my attention. I wish we got to oh, meet the chairman and his son. Cross any spheres of Spear's past, please do let us know. My lady. Ooh. <laughs> so, what do you think? What? Pain? I think I've heard enough. What now? Huh. <sighs> 
All right, so if you go inside, there's also a treasure chest in here. So we're gonna go grab that. I think it's up here on up if you go up this lift and then go out the back. Right? Oh, here we go. We get it from him. We get a tiara. Thanks, dude. I love gifts. All right, and that's it. That's all to do here in Bavel for chapter one. So now we're going to run back. Yeah, Jose, this is a fresh file. So the challenge, the week-long challenge run that we did before, um, I deleted all of that. So the game files are gone. It's all gone. So that was special only for that particular set of streams. It is lost to the ether now. So we're doing it fresh. And then after this run, we'll decide if we want to do a new game plus where we get... Um, where we do the Youth League instead. All right, let's check our percentage. That's at 11. It should be at 11.4. Yes, we're at 11.4. Okay, fabulous. All right. The next place we're gonna head to is Guado Salam. Let's go over there. Guado Salon, home of the Guado. You remember, right? But the Guado are no longer here. Some people think they deserved all that happened for what they did to Spira. They have a point, but it seems like such a sad way to look at things. Oh, you know. Okay, so there's that opening scene. There is one other scene, um, but we are going to also do some of the PR and marriage quest here. So if you come outside of Guado Salam, there's these two people talking, and this lady you do first for publicity, and you do fifth for matchmaking. All right, then this one, this little girl, for publicity, you do first for her. You can also do publicity on the innkeeper, and he takes the second one. Then there's this Hypello here. And you can do publicity for him, and he takes the third one. Then inside this shop right here, I think it's this one, yes, it's this one. Both of these guys can do it. So you do, for this guy, the customer, you do the fourth one. And for the shopkeeper, you do the second one. Right, and the other scene to do here is you walk towards the far plane and the scene's gonna play. The far plane, a place that unites the living with their memory of the dead. I've thought about going in so many times, hoping that I might see you there, but I never have. I think I probably never will. <sighs> she doesn't want to see him on the far plane. It causes too much confusion about what the far plane is and what that means. All right, that's it. That's all to do in Guado Salam. So we're going to save. 
And there's just two fractions of a percentage there, so it still should stay 11%, yes, and it should be at 11.8 at this point. Yes, it's at 11.8, okay. Okay, next we're gonna go up to Mount Gagazet. Let's check out what's going on with Kamari. How's he doing? The Ronso still live here on Mount Gagazet. Kamari is their elder now, and he's working hard to unite his people. Still, it seems much quieter here than it used to be. Maybe because summoners no longer come here to climb the sacred mountain. Y'all are a little underdressed for Mount Gagazet weather, just saying. Kimari! Yuna look well. Kimari glad. How you been, Kimari? What's it like being an elder? Elder's job difficult. Kimari troubled. Elder, Leon and Aid not here. Children have left Mountain, gone to search for Elder's horn. What's going on? Oh, kids. Leon and Aid still pups, but bear Ronso future. Say they search for a way to fix Kimari's broken horn. If Kimari act like true Elder, these things not happen. So cute for them. Maybe so. Kimari. I summon a Yuna. It is Garrick's honor. Nice to meet you. Garrick, no Yuna saved Spira, but Ronso not saved yet. Um. Um, let's see. So I think we're supposed to choose the second option for all of them. So we can say we'll take care of Leon and Aid. I think, right? Yeah, we're not supposed to say try nice to Kamari. Really no, yeah. Yeah, this one. Huh. All right, Kimari now let's talk to Kamari. about Leon and Aid, but Kimari cannot leave Mountain. If you not find Leon and Aid, bring them back to Gagazet. You know? Is everything okay? Kimari troubled. Ronso youth grow horns of hatred for Guado. So you're supposed to choose the middle option. It's like very hard for me to choose this for Yuna, but um, but this is what you're supposed to do. You have to learn to deal with these things. Yuna. <clears throat> Kimari, sorry. Whining make Kimari small. Cheer up, Kimari. All right, and when you go around and talk to them, you're supposed to choose the second one for all of them, except for this lady. You're supposed to choose leave it to the gull wings. Everyone else, you choose their second option, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's I will never forget the sacrifice. Yeah, oh, not yet. I want to talk to this lady. Does she have choices? No. Oh, she's the sculptor. Yeah, so she's a sculptor. So she'll, um, we'll see her sculpture later. So for this one, it's I'm sure you're right. Uh, I can imagine how you must feel. Huh? Oh, we already talked to him. And I wouldn't forgive them either. Okay, I think that's everybody. Did I talk to him? Yes, okay. Let's just back up and look. Okay, yeah, that's everybody. Then if you come around onto the teleporter, you can go up to the, I think it's Faith Scar. And you can find someone else too. And again, you choose the second option. A change for the better, I hope. All right, and then you can go back down. 
There are no treasure chests on Mount Gagazet. The only reason to actually climb up Mount Gagazet is if you want a way to like level up. So if you want to like get higher level, get your get your AP for your abilities, things like that, you can actually walk up Mount Gagazet. But there is there's no reason to do that. Okay, so we should be at 12.2 after doing all of those things. Let's check our Yep, 12.2. Okay, perfect. We're still going we're going perfect still. All right, our next area is going to be the Meehan High Road. The Meehan High Road, where crusaders once marched toward battle with sin, while travelers fled from its shadow. I walked this road too, on my pilgrimage to Zanarkand. And you walked by my side. It was a journey filled with laughter. Oh, okay. So that scene is the only thing that you're doing for percentage. So what we are going to do, though, is we are going to walk down the high road, but we're doing it so that we can do the publicity and pick up chests. So let's save. Okay. So this is the first chest right here. And it's a phoenix down. Leave it to me. Oh, these guys. Oh wait, we did steal properly that time. Oh no, we actually stole finally, okay. So it took us three tries. I thought the second try we did it. But I guess not. Cause you've got the cure and I've got your remedy. Oh my God, it helps you to press the button when you do trigger happy. Oh my gosh, thank you for the Hydrate Lunar, thank you. Gotta hydrate often to to do this battling. Okay, there is a chest. No, it's not here yet, okay. So both of these ladies are eligible. Um, this one right here, for, yeah, for publicity you do the second one on her. And then for matchmaking you do the fifth one. And then for this lady right here, publicity, you do the first, and then the first. There we go. Interrupt me. How dare. Oh, I didn't mean to press steel. Oh well, that's fine. He's gonna be dead soon anyways. Nothing to steal, I know. Goodbye. All right, the next thing is in that ruins up there. There's going to be lots of battles along this road. So if you actually walk down this road and get all of the, um, the like, uh, treasure chests and talk to all the people for the marriage and the PR quest, you're going to end up with lots and lots of battles that you've done. So you're going to be able to level up your characters and get the items. So one thing that I haven't really explained yet, which I can do kind of like while we're battling along here, is the way that AP works. No so AP is the 
uh, currency that you have that like levels up the skills. So experience levels you up and AP is what like adds on the skills. So when I go into the abilities menu and I'm selecting which abilities it is that they're gonna work on, it's the AP that they're gaining. So every time they complete just a regular attack like this attack right here and they do it successfully, they get one AP, all right, one AP. Every time they do something that's not an attack like the steal that I just did, they successfully, they get two AP. Now, if it's not successful, they're not gonna get any AP from that. So if you want to level up your stuff, you shouldn't be attacking, you should be using the special skills. So like attacking with the warrior, I am making the warrior level up a lot slower than they necessarily need to, like if I was using the sword plays. But the warrior uses MP for their abilities and they simply don't have a lot of it. So I'm, I'm just attacking. Um, but what I really should be doing if I want to get Yuna's warrior AP up is to be using like the breaks sentinel um, abilities, you know, things like that. That was 500 gil, by the way. I don't think I've vocalized that. It's all in the wrist. <clears throat> Oh, we had our first Oversoul. So there is a reward for defeating everything in Oversoul form. So you definitely want to do that, not just for that reward, but also because the Oversouled enemies give more experience, more like items, more everything. So you want to let them oversoul and defeat them as oversouls. You don't want to like rush trying to kill them um, so that they don't oversoul. Now he looks scary, but I'm pretty sure we can kill him no problem. you want to attack. Like when Yuni used that potion just now, she got two AP instead of one, like she's been getting when she attacks. Gonna delve into the creature creator stuff. Not this run through. Not this run through. It depends on if we decide to do more run throughs of this game, but eventually I would like to do a creature creator run through so that everyone can see those as well. Because they have like cute little stories and I've never fully completed that part which I would like to do. Like, there's definitely creatures that I've never caught, so I've never, like, seen their story or the completion of their story. Yay, got initiative. Oh, I must have already done it. Oh, and magic break, sweet. Okay, so that's still good. We'll have her do mental break. All right, so now that she's got that, let's get item hunter. The passives are really powerful. Like I always try to get the passives. Um, trigger happy, I never completed it yet. Either it's massive, right? It's like ridiculous, it's so huge. So I've never completed it, but I would like to. Circlet, so that's a circlet. This person also you can do publicity with. So he is third. There we go. So that's everything in this first little area of Meehan High Road. Three chests and three peoples. We had someone in here earlier, Jose, that was, um, that said they had 200%ed the game, and I guess that's what you call it whenever you've gotten 100% and you have completed the creature creator as well. Um, so I thought that was really cool. So I was thinking like, ah, oh, maybe I should have a goal to like 200% the game on stream. Because if I do it on stream, I will actually finish it instead of like if I'm doing it on my own where I'll just get bored and then like stop when I get bored. But because you guys are here with me, I can do it without getting bored, you know? So maybe I should try to 200%. It'll take multiple playthroughs, of course, but maybe I should. 
Oh, yeah, I was leaving this area. We're on to area number two. It's all in the wrist. Yeah, this game in some ways feels like one of the shorter Final Fantasies, but like if you actually try to do everything, it's one of the longest. I think the only one that's like longer to do everything in is like maybe 12. And of course, 11 and 14 don't count. <laughs> Yeah, and you get better steals. You get better steals from the oversold ones, too. How long does 12 take to do everything? Um, I want to say, like, even if you're trying to go fast, it's still over 100 hours. Um, I'd have to look it up again, because I don't remember exactly, but I remember I did look it up one time. And I want to say that even if you're going pretty speedy and you really know what you're doing, you're still talking about, like, well, well over 100 hours. 16 is apparently also way up there. I heard, I heard that it's super up there. It's like you actually do all the side quests and stuff that it's like really freaking long. Have not played 16. I'm still debating on if I want to get it. If I do get it, I'll get it for PC. We do have a PlayStation at the house but it's hooked up to like the main TV that everyone uses, so I don't really play on it very much. Um, my husband plays on it, which is how I've been watching him play. Oh, not two. Twelve can take 160 hours if you're absolute completionist. Court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like considered one of the longest. I mean, Final Fantasy games are usually long, but you're not talking about that much more than 100 hours normally. 160 is pretty crazy. And how long to beat's normally on the faster side of playthroughs, because the people that are posting there a lot of times are speedrunners, so they're going a bit faster than your average Joe. So the only thing that's in the second area, as far as treasures and the publicity minigame, is this right here. Antidotes in this chest. I'm assuming that's gameplay only, no cutscenes? Yeah. I assume so as well, honestly. And it's probably like 160 hours when you've optimized like how to do anything in that game that's like a little bit nitpicky because there's a lot of um, elements of a lot of Final Fantasy games that like if you know what you're doing, the particular like side quest or mini game or whatever doesn't take that long. But if you don't know what you're doing, it can take quite a while to like learn it. So like 160 hours if you fully know what you're doing, I assume. And the thing that's interesting about 12 is that it also has like one of the largest as far as like what the devs have said anyway, of like content that they wanted to add in the game but didn't get a chance to. So like imagine how much it could have been if they had actually been able to add in all the stuff that they wanted to. All right, so in this third area, we do have a couple more things that we can get. 10-2 completionist is 112 hours. That sounds about right. Because you kind of have to do, like, 
multiple playthroughs to do it. Like, I, you can't do it all in one playthrough because of having to choose your faction. Just compared to 46 for main plus extras, yeah. And see, 46 doesn't feel like that long or anything. And 46 is probably amount, the amount of hours that we played when we did the one week challenge. We won. Probably a little bit longer because I did get to 100%. Uh, this lady is also for publicity. So for publicity, you do the fourth one, and then for the marriage, you do the second one. And then... This is holy water! Nice work indeed. All right, so then we're gonna come up here. And almost towards the end, there's a few other things to pick up. I feel like there was a message I missed up here. Wow, that would be awesome. Yeah, I feel like it would. I don't know how long it would take me to get through all of it, but I feel like it would be really cool to do like a full, a full everything. And like show it all off. All right, so up in this little alcove right here is another treasure chest. And this is potion times two. Good chain. I'm ready for more. Me too, Yuna, me too. Okay, she has something kind of funny to say. Oh, um, ha, uh, hello. What are you doing over here? Uh, we're experimenting to see if we can synchronize the Hyrule's Machina. Don't tell anyone you've seen this. Okay, lady, whatever you say. Girls are getting stronger, they are killing faster now. I can feel it. Did that hurt? Probably. I mean he's pyroflies now, so it probably did. Alright, there's this other little alcove over here, and this is our third chest for this area. And in this game, you don't have to do the thing where you match the um, elements like you did in 10. Like any of the 
dress spheres can kill anything, basically. All right, so this is an iron bangle in this chest, which I do really appreciate. That I can just slice up the flans and it's okay. Oh, another one of you. Don't worry. I know how to handle your kind. Except apparently you're hard to steal from. Give me your goods. Ooh, a black choker. I think that's an accessory. Come on, be done already. Oh, Sonic Boom. Okay, I guess you were not done. You'll be done soon. Gotcha. Nice work. It's got enough neck for a lot of those chokers. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It has plenty of room. It could wear many chokers. It's got a model swan neck. Okay. This one right here, this guy is another publicity one. So you do second for him. And that's all the stuff in the third area. There's the three chests, and then there's the two people that you talk to for publicity. And apparently one more battle before we get to the next area. Oh yeah, she learned all the breaks. And we got slow proof. Nice. Okay, let's check on our abilities. Okay, so we're gonna switch her over. Let's do SOS Protect. And then it'll automatically send her over to the elemental things, which is good. So that's good. Okay. Riku on stop proof. Okay, perfect. Okay, she's still on trigger happy level three. I want so many points, it takes forever, but it's so worth it. It's so worth it to have access to the trigger level, uh, trigger happy level three. All right, let's see what's going on back here. Hello, lady. What's up? I'm programming these Machina. Okay, very interesting. All right, so at the travel agency, there is a chest, and it's right over here, and we can get some eye drops. This guy right here is a publicity stop. He does the first one. And then we're gonna go inside the travel agency for two more publicity ones. All right, so the lady right here, you can do second. And then you can do matchmaking fourth. And then for this guy, you can do publicity third. All right, and that's our halfway mark for the Meehan High Road, so let's save. Now you can take the hovers just down the Meehan High Road, um, but then you miss out on picking up all the chests and talking to all the people for publicity. So like, if you wanna do that, you gotta actually walk. You gotta use your leggies. But it's good because it gives us an opportunity to get really leveled up. He's moving like that hurts. He goes down fast for such a big guy. Oh, yeah. 
Bark worse than his bike. He is. He really is. He's not that bad. But he seems like he's gonna be when you meet him. But he's not no Nashorn. Those do fuck me up at first. But it's because I go to Calm Land so early. To pick up the PR quest. <clears throat> Alright, this is a potion. This is the only chest in this kind of like, I guess what I would call the fifth area. Alright, on the sixth area right here. Oh, I wanted to talk to that lady. I want to show you what she says. Quadricorn. Quadricorn ain't got nothing on my catacorn. <laughs> yeah, it's just a normal potion. You'll start getting high potions more um, later. Oh, shoot. I did it again. Pop quiz. Why do you think there's a Machina there? <gasps> Lunar, thank you. Thank you so much for the cheers. Thank you so much. I think maybe we sh when we have cheers, we should do we should do a minute of bubbles. Let me turn on the bubbles for just a minute. Oh, there's not enough solution. I have to add some more. Here we go. Alexa, set timer for one minute. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, um, maybe it's on watch. Oh, so close. Uh, so it doesn't get in the way. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you for the gift sub. There's bubbles everywhere. <laughs> uh, hovers. Yeah, it's not in the way of hovers. So that's why he, it's, it's over there. So the hovers don't do it. All right, we'll pull a pin um, before we end stream today. I promise. Thank you so much, Lunar. I love you so much. There's so many bubbles, you guys. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Anyways, this chest right here. This is a phoenix down, two phoenix downs. Oh, the lady in yellow was one of the publicities and I forgot. Okay, wait, Alexa, stop. Okay, that's a minute of bubbles. Thank you so much, Lunar. Okay, they're still everywhere. <laughs> they're still everywhere. Okay, I was supposed to walk back. Oh, I got to walk back to her. Hang on. Let me, um, since I already like walked this far. Wait, where'd my mouse go? There it is. Not turbo, no. Yeah, okay, we'll turn encounters off for a second. We're gonna walk back to her and then we'll walk back to where we were. I, I got so distracted by, by talking to her to show you the funny dialogue and then the bubbles and then I forgot. Okay, anyways, you can do publicity on her and she is, you do the fourth one. And then for matchmaking, you do the first one. Okay, so let's walk back to where we were. We'll turn encounters back on. You guys can't... Oh, you can still see some of the bubbles. There's still bubbles floating. This bubble machine is so good. They last so long. It's amazing. I gotta put some plastic wrap over it, I think, so that they don't, like, evaporate so fast. Takers keepers. Go away, bully cap. Don't like you. Nobody like you. <laughs> Bye, nice Flan. I popped one. So many bubbles. <laughs> All right, so on this screen, um, there are, there's a chest over here. 
And over here you can get budget grenades. Also, this little boy right here, you can talk to him and do publicity. So he does, let's see, the fifth one. Okay. And then basically we can go down to the old road. The robots are always vibing on Meehan. They love it. All right, this guy in the purple shirt right here, you can do publicity with him. He does the second one. There's also a chest here with mana spring. What? It's a baby Chabokobo eater. All right, on this one. Okay, there's a save sphere over here. And by the save sphere, we have a chest with echo screens. Let's go ahead and save. We've walked really far. Oh, she didn't quite, I didn't do, I did the trigger happy too fast. She didn't get to steal. I'll let her steal this time. Takers keepers indeed. Oh, I did save already. Okay. Also, oh, battle before we got to her. Yay, trigger happy level three. Heck yes. We love that. Oh, I didn't mean to hit steal again. Oh, well. Yeah, nothing to steal, I know. Oh, and she got pot shot. That's fine. Didn't intend for her to get that right now, but it's okay. All right, so let's go to abilities and let's fix pain up. So I want her to come back and learn the dark proof passive. That's fine. And she's learning stop proof. Okay. Okay, this lady right here is also part of the publicity. So you can do fourth. And you can do first. Oh, not that one. Yeah, first. Okay. And then we're going to come down this way. Easy. You really think so? Let's yeah. Go. More fight. It's gonna be easy. We know the Iron Giants are very easy. So in this area, we have some softs. Get him. It's all in the wrist. And then we're gonna run. Oh, more more encounters. 
We're gonna run all the way to the end. We're gonna run all the way to the end here and find what's at the very end of the old road. It's all in the wrist, that's right. All right, at the end, it's just two dudes hanging out. It's just two dudes hanging out with a bunch of fiends around them, I guess. I don't know how they're avoiding it, you know, all the way down here by themselves, but somehow they are. And they're just chilling, having a picnic. It's out on the wrist. All right, so the one on the top, you can do publicity for them. That's why we ran all the way down here. So one on the top, you do first, and the one on the bottom right here, you do third. And there we go. That's it. If you talk to them, they make fun of you. You walked all the way out here? That weren't too swift, would it? Hadn't met some... <laughs> met you somewhere before. You look mighty familiar at you do. All right. All right. Understood, friends. You got your secret little spot out here. You don't want me invading your privacy. And I came here just to advertise. You need to put up a no soliciting sign, I guess. Oh, got the SOS Protect. Nice. Oh, and we don't have to change her because she's just going to go and do the elementals next. Oh, and stop proof. Nice. That was on pain, right? Oh, no. She's getting dark proof. Okay, that was on Riku. Okay, so now we're back up at borrowed time. I guess we can just let her progress normally through Thief. So we got all the passives, so that's all good. We're getting stronger. get any more encounters before we reach the save point? Yes. Yes, we will. Probably get another, too. <laughs> With how far away it is. I'm ready for more. Yeah, me too, Yuna. All right, let's save and let's board the airship. Alright, so that's everything in Meehan. I'm gonna save on the airship because I feel like we're probably leveled up enough now that we can take on that uh, that tournament. So let's see if we can. So that's gonna be under Creature Creator, I think. And Fiend Arena. Alright, let's see if we can do it. Let's enter the tournament. Uh, yes. Let's do it to it, y'all. Let's do it to it. Okay, we're gonna fight the machine gunners. Okay, these guys. Yeah. We can do it. We can do it. 
I believe in us. Oh, we don't have to watch all these. They're gonna, the fiends are gonna tournament each other. We don't care about that. Oh, I shouldn't have stolen. I should have just attacked. We're just trying to kill them. We definitely don't need to steal. We just need to attack. Ooh, learn dark proof. Nice. This tournament is not hard. There are strats that you can use to like do it sooner. But um, but this is when I feel like it's not so difficult. Uh, let's see, potion on pain. on Riku. Damn. <laughs> ah, no! Not doing well, not doing well. These ones are really difficult, these two right here. Let's use our Mega Phoenix. Okay, everybody's up, everybody's up. Let's potion. Oh my god! I think I need to stop. I think I need to stop and restart. I think I need to restart it. We we failed. We fucked up. I should have been healing sooner. Anyway, let's try that again. Yeah, that sucked. That sucked. I can do that better. I know I can do that better. All right, let's do it better. I know everything. Thank you, Koneko. Thank you. I got my potions ready this time. I got them ready. Okay, we're doing Flying Circus first. These guys. Okay. All right. Sweet. That's a better first match. Let's skip all this. Go straight to the fight. Only one way to find out. Well, what are we waiting for? These guys can be challenging if you try to do them too early because they're really hard to hit. But at this point, I think my accuracy is high enough. We're not going to have that problem. So um, these guys should be okay. I hope, I hope. Yeah, I got one. Um, she's sleeping too. We need a remedy. Okay. <clears throat> we got a potion and remedy pain. Oh, or not. Apparently, we, we're just going to need a Phoenix Downer. I 
I am missing. I am missing kind of a lot. So it is hurting. That is hurting. Oh, Pain doesn't need... Oh, she just needs a potion now. Oh my god. Okay, that was a good chain. Oh, flame tongue, nice. Oh, don't need potions anymore. We can attack. Go, go for it, Yuna. Ugh. There we go. That was bad. That sucked. Maybe I did this a little too early. Luckily, you get healed in between every single round. Um, so yeah. Next, we're gonna do No Fear. Okay, so No Fear took out the machine gunners. Okay. So we're gonna do No Fear next. All right, so let's start match. We can skip this. No, don't steal. Take, try to take this one out first. Oh, shoot. Meant to attack the other. That was a good chain. There we go. Okay, let's get some potions going. All right, round two down. Round two down. Round three. Round three, last round, we are going against, what is this, Shell Squad? It looks like it's Shell Squad that we're going against. Okay. All right, let's go. We got this. All right, attack. Miss Warrior. Uh, thank you so much for the Hell Lunar. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we're gonna do armor break. We're gonna armor break these bitches. Can't let them get defense up too much or then they become like impossible to kill. You gotta take these out fast. <clears throat> there we go. If you take them out fast, they're no problem. We are the Winrar. Hey, 
Hell yeah, get it. Psychic Dress Sphere, that's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. Okay. All right, let's save. Our final percentage should be 12.4 at the moment, so let's go look. Yes, it is, 12.4, so we are on track, you guys. We are on track. All right. That was the episode. I hope you enjoyed our first two episodes of our 10-2 New Yevon run through. We will continue next week on Sunday. I hope to see you all here. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe below. And don't forget, of course, as always, to make it a great day.